Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your one-stop shop for all the places to visit in the great state of Texas. I'm your host AC and in this episode, we're gonna sample a unique ice cream parlor in South Texas that may get you a little boozy. Plus, in just a few weeks, Bernie will completely redecorate its downtown into a Charles Dickens novel for the holiday season. We'll carol through the Hill Country Mile a little bit later in the show, but first, from family carnivals to seafood boils, Selma is the perfect location for some fall fun. So let's join Tessa at Ratama Park for a recap of her time at Boil and Brew. Welcome to Boil and Brew, a three-day festival in Selma, Texas. It's a celebration of carnival rides and local traditions. We've been here twice before with JB. And Aaron won some prizes. Now it's my turn to check out all the festivities Boil and Brew has to offer. We're here at Rotama Park and this entire venue is filled with fall festivities. There's a carnival, some fantastic food, and even a pumpkin patch. And we just so happen to be here during Dia de los Muertos weekend, the Day of the Dead. So let's go check it out. Our first stop, of course, a pumpkin patch. I mean, look at the size of this pumpkin. You guys, look how cute these are. If this does not scream fall fun, then nothing does. For all those in the fall spirit, the Boil and Brew Pumpkin Patch is the perfect place for a photo shoot. With a name like Boil and Brew, we obviously had to sample some of the local eats. Thousands of pounds of seafood were prepared fresh exclusively for the event. All right guys, so my sleeves are rolled up. I am ready to dig into all of this. First things first, let's dig into this lobster toe. Look how huge this is. Utensils are not needed here. They're just like, take up too much time. Mmm. It's so delicious. Next up, we're gonna do this ginormous crab leg. It's like as big as my head, it's crazy. I don't know where Big Tex finds their crab, but wherever they are, I'm not complaining because Look at all this meat inside of it. So delicious, so good. Boil and Brew is a festival for Latin tradition. Mexican and Tejano music, as well as Flocorica dancing is performed to truly celebrate the Day of the Dead. We decided to watch performances honoring the weekend of Dia de los Muertos. And what's Dia de los Muertos without the tradition of face painting? If you want to really feel the spirit of the holiday, get your face did. This looks so cool. Oh my God. With so much to do at Boil and Brew, we decided to talk with Debron West about the event. Well, there's so much going on at Boil and Brew and you definitely want to go to the carnival, make sure you get a funnel cake, ride the ride. This is the first Halloween Boil and Brew and we started it just to bring the community together. The spring event is all crawfish, so this is shrimp, lobster, and crab. And right behind us we have the ofrenda. Can you tell me a little bit about what makes that 
so special to this weekend specifically? Well, everything Big Texas Fun is about what's important in Texas and what Texans love. So we decided to build it and include the community. So every picture you see on there is a local family member that people sent in their pictures for us to share. And to get the full experience of Boil and Brew, we decided to explore the fairgrounds. We're walking around this incredible carnival. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, the carnival's wage shows, uh, one of the largest in the country, if not the largest. Uh -huh. They're not a local company, but local in the fact that they do a lot of really big events in the San Antonio area. Rodeo, Fiesta, they come here for us to be part of that local community that we're trying to reach out to. Extreme power, danger, boom, boom, boom. Okay. We bought the tickets, now it's time to take a ride. Debron and I decided to get our adrenaline pumping on this attraction. What's a carnival without prizes? With a different theme at Boil and Brew every weekend, we wanted to test our luck at some of the fair games. Ah, you're gonna pull it out, okay. Okay. One, okay. Two. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't win any prizes, but I rewarded myself with some funnel cake. Got my tickets, I'm about to get my funnel cake. All right, guys, so my time at Boil and Brew has come to an end. Special shout out to Big Texas Fun for putting this event together and also DeBron. This festival definitely put me in the fall spirit. So now, got to eat my funnel cake and head on out. If you want to make it out to next year's event, check out the link below for more information.